It's time for Tales of Terror, only on the Mutual Audio Network. The following audio drama is rated R and is recommended restricted for anyone under the age of 17. Rusty Quill presents... We're Alive, a story of survival. Chapter 9 The Road to Living Death Part 1 of 3 We moved slowly through the maze of cars and buildings. Areas of the road had been completely burned to nothing but ashes. Riley, Datu, and I crept along getting closer to the signals. How much further? I don't know. The dot doesn't seem to be getting any closer. Maybe the signal keeps moving away from us. This is why we need to follow it, so we know for sure where they're going. Why is it so important that we know exactly where they are? <sighs> Just to avoid it? They're not thinking big picture. What? If they're all in one place, at least a nice chunk of them, it's the only place you have to hit. We'd never be able to pick them off one at a time. Then again, we don't know how many there are. Some of the many reasons we need to find out. So we're going to count them? How close are we going? Not that close. Once we get within at least a quarter mile, we might be able to see where they're going from a rooftop or something. A safe distance away. Okay. But it's still dangerous. Like Michael always said, the more you know, the better you can deal. We're taking the guesswork out of it. It's starting to get hot. Which means we'll be sweating. Angel, this is a really bad idea. All right, well, we can take a break for a little while. I don't know about you guys, but I'm starting to get hungry. Come on, this way. We found a little liquor store and found some snacks. It wasn't the best thing for us, this sweets, but it was one of the few things that hadn't spoiled. We took our snacks to the upstairs loft that overlooked the street. This way, the door's over here. <coughs> Angel, someone lived in there. They could still be inside. Let me try the handle. It's unlocked. So they're probably home. Hello? Real smart. Looks clear. Come on, I'm sure it's fine. You can put your little toy bow away. This is not a toy. And neither is this. I have 29 rounds in here, and you only have one. So are we going inside or what? These things are starting to melt on me. Come on. Clear. Ah, this one melted all over my hand. I got it. Nice shot. Uh, you see that? Right through his head. And it was quiet. I'm glad we didn't shoot it. Any more surprises, Angel? I'm sorry. Room clearing isn't one of my strong areas. Point of fact, I failed those simulations at Fort Irwin. Look, I'm no Michael, or Saul for that matter. No, you're not. Now, do you mind helping me check the back bedrooms, or should I bring Datu along instead? I can. Come on. It's 
clear. You sure? Yes. Here, take one of these. I don't much feel like candy right now. Let's see what she had in her cupboards. Anything good? Hey! Canned peaches. Works for me. Oh, are there any more? I'm sorry. Last can. Oh, come on. They look really good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they taste amazing. <sighs> Get your own. Come on, please. Nope. Mine. I just save your ass and you won't even give me a slice. Guilt won't help you. Come on. Oh, Final share. Hmm. I don't know why you two are wasting your time with that fruit. Look at all this stuff. Yeah, just wait until the scurvy sets in. The what? Don't worry about it. Eat your chocolate. Hey, you think the shop downstairs was hers? Who's? Arrowhead over there? It could have been a mom and pop kind of store locally owned. But then, where's the pop? I don't know. Long gone by now. The point is, you own a store, you own a gun, right? Well, not everyone. Yeah, but maybe she does. I'm gonna snoop around. If she did have one, where do you think she would hide it? I don't know. In a drawer somewhere, maybe? Maybe she kept a little handgun in her purse. My grandmother did that. But then again, she was pretty paranoid. Makes sense, the way things are nowadays. Whoa! Did you find the gun? Well, I found bullets. Not the kind we need. What do you mean? Oh man, this is disgusting! Oh, you're so immature. Yeah, 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 moving on. Where's the restroom around here? Let's find the gun and get out of here. If there is even one to find. Ah! What is it? I found Pop. On the toilet. Now that's disgusting. I think I'll hold it. These poor people must not gotten out much. Look at all this mess. Home, then work, then home, then work. What do you think it'd be like working where you live? Would be kind of weird, don't you think? It's not as bad as you might think. You don't have to have a car, you can eat all your meals at home, and you have an oven to cook your lunch in it if you want to. What job can you do that? Well, mine. Uh, but I was a chef. We had three ovens. Hey! I found it! What is it? It's a shotgun. This might come in handy. You want to swap it out for your bow? And wake the whole neighborhood with that thing? The bow's fine. Besides, I have my Beretta in case I need it. Hey! You didn't leave me any peaches! Yes, yeah, I did. There are little ones at the bottom. Thanks. Those are like pieces of pieces. Well, then you can have the juice. Thanks. Heads up! There's one in the street! About time we saw one of them. I'm starting to think something was up. Well, something might be. Look at him. His leg's broken and he's still walking. Ow. Now that's gotta hurt. He's not even reacting to it. He just keeps on walking. Riley, can you hit his other leg? With my bow? I was thinking with an arrow, but if you want to throw the bow at him, it might hurt a little less. Smug ass. Move out of the way. Nice shot! <laughs> oh, I told you I was a pro. Stuck it halfway through his thigh. That's some skill. Look at him. He's still moving. I don't think he even noticed it. Want me to try it again? He doesn't feel it. Well, who's gonna write this one in their journal? I'm sure Mike would love to... I guess I'll just put him down. Ah! 
Should we... Should we even keep writing in these journals anymore? Yes! Why wouldn't you? You know, in some cases I might be able to reuse the arrows. Uh, it's like an added bonus. You could think of it that way. Hey, look at this. Vodka? Riley, I think you're starting to become an alcoholic. No, the onions didn't work, but we know this stuff does, right? I guess. Here, come on, Angel. Here, have another bar. It isn't going to make me feel any better. Hey, what about this? Hey, you found more peaches. And they're all yours. I have my feel. Thanks. Hey, uh, Angel? Um, uh, what? Mind if I have some? I don't want to get scurvy. Oh. Hmm. You're gonna die. Okay, this is getting ridiculous. Are you reading that thing right? Yeah, that too. We've been walking forever. Yeah, but the locators keep on moving. Let me see that. Everyone, stop. Just stop. Well, they're not doing it now, but they were a minute ago. What'd I touch? Give me that! That's what happened. One of the locators must have hit the panic button. Oh, shit. Look, it shut off. The batteries must have run out. Or since the panic button was pressed, maybe it broke. Wait, all of them? No, just one. But we may not have much time. Great. Guys, I don't think we're going to make it there and back to the car before nightfall. Well, we have that apartment. We know it's safe. We could go back there. So you still want to keep going? I don't know about want, but we came this far. Might as well. I mean, we've only seen one of those things so far. You had to say it, didn't you? It came from over there. Down the road ahead of us. It just sounded like one. Need I remind you what one did this morning? Quiet, you two. I heard something move over there behind the car. I think I see its hair. I can probably get a shot off. Don't! Let me use my bow. I won't make any noise. Well, just do it quick before it can attack us. You know, I... I can hear you guys. I can hear you. What? It's talking. Really, Datu? I hadn't noticed. If, if, if you're gonna kill me, just, just, just be quick. Just be quick. Sir, we thought you were one of those things. We're not gonna hurt you. No? No. Come on out here. You're not one of them, are you? Oh man, look at this guy. You've got, you look like you've gone through hell. <laughs> you're, you're, you're not going to kill me, are you? No, we already said that. Then, then, then you're not one of them. I think he's lost his mind. That too. Oh, jeez, look at his feet. What happened to your shoes? I, I lost them. Here, let me see what I have. This guy was a mess. His entire body was covered with scratches and dirt from head to toe. He didn't have a shirt on and his shorts were in shambles. His feet had so many blisters that I swear it made him half an inch taller. Well, I have some socks. You can have these. Um, why don't you put them on? Here, have one of my shirts. Thank you. Oh, look at his feet. I don't think he even knows or cares. Where did you come from? He didn't say anything. He just pointed down the road in the direction we were heading. I didn't think that was a good sign. Hey, they fit. All right. They're sucks, Angel. Of course they're going to. Hey, uh, do you want some water? 
He's nodding. Why isn't he saying anything? He was just talking just a minute ago. Here, drink this. Now, where specifically did you come from? Why is he shaking his head now? I don't know. Because. Because what? I don't understand him. I, I, I shake my head just, just, just because. You need to give us a little more than that. Come on, man. How have you been able to survive out here without any weapons? Maybe he hit his head on something. Were you with anyone else? Yeah. Yes, I was. Hey, now we're getting somewhere. Where are they now? Come on. What the hell? Maybe he doesn't want to talk about it. I, 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 I can if I have to. Riley, he's only responding to you. What? Why would you do that? Because. Look, I don't know or care right now. Just ask him if there were other survivors with him. Sir, where are the people you were with? Dead. <laughs> Probably dead. <laughs> I'm hungry. Here, this is all I have left. A pack of Skittles? You ate everything you had, save for a pack of Skittles? It's better than nothing. I'm sure he needs something more than that. Look at him. It's okay. It's okay. I like Skittles. Oh, oh, all colors. Oh, oh, pretty. Pretty, pretty. How did you survive out here this long on your own? Uh, what, what, what do you mean? How long have your friends been gone? Uh, a while. I, I, I saw them. I, I saw them eat my friends. Uh, uh, all of them. Poor guy. Can you imagine? Go ahead and eat your skittles and drink your water, okay? Uh, yes, ma'am. Riley, come over here for a sec. So what do we do with skittles over there? He's a bit unstable, isn't he? <laughs> a bit? Well, we can't just leave him there. Well, what do we do? That's what I'm asking you two. We might as well take him with us. Take me. Take me? Take me where? We need to find something not far from here. And then we're going home, okay? Uh, uh, I don't know. I, Look, I don't know. we got guns and bows and shit. You'll be safe with us, all right? You want to come with us, Skittles? Don't call him that. He's nodding. Hey, he responds to it. All right, Skittles, let's just have you stay with us and you'll be fine. Come on, I'll help you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, it's been so long since good people have been around. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I'm guessing you've seen Latch, Scratch, and company. Wait, wait, why are we going this way? Why, why, why are we going this way? We can't go this way, we can't. Well, our things are this way. It's all right, we're not going much further. And then we can take you back to some place really safe. No place is safe. No place is safe. My friend, my friend said we'd be safe. My friend said we'd be safe. They're all gone. They're all gone. You're not. You're no different. You're no different. We can't go that way. No, we can't go that way. He'll get us. Join us again Monday for the next episode of We're Alive. And now, a word from our sponsors. ACAST powers the world's best podcasts. Here's a show that we recommend. My name is Ryan Beal. I'm an actor, comedian, but I'm also a huge science fiction nerd. And it's been my lifelong dream to write a TV show as good as Star Trek. Imagine if Princess Diana ventured to the center of the Earth to save her best friend. <laughs> <laughs> and to do this, I've enlisted my two comedy writing partners, Mark Chavez and Maddie Kelly. Over the course of eight episodes, you'll hear us try to crack the code on our science fiction pilot. And when we run into trouble, we'll get help from serious experts. Why are you doing this? It's <laughs> Let's Make a Sci-Fi. Available now on CBC Listen and everywhere you get your podcasts. ACAST recommends. A 
starring Jim Gleason, Shane Salk, Nate Gies, Elisa Elliott, Claire Doden, Jay Oligario, Blair Byhauer, Scott Marvin, Tammy Klein, Nico Marvin, Manly Woods, Michael Ray Clark, Jenna McCombie, and Bob Bergen as Skittles. I'm Michael Swan. We're Alive was written and directed by K.C. Whelan. Produced by Grayson Stone, Shane Salk, and K.C. Whelan. To find out more and for a full list of cast and crew, please visit our website at we'realive.com. Be sure to follow us on Twitter and Facebook for all production-related updates and future projects. Thank you for listening to this Audio Theater for the Mind by Wayland Productions. Chauncey Haworth, Mark Slade, and Lothar Tuppen. The demented minds behind the Twisted Pulp Radio Hour bring you... Twisted Pulp Magazine. A journey beyond surreality to worlds you never knew or hoped existed. Worlds of the supernatural. Worlds of dark satire. Worlds of nightmarish futures. Twisted Pulp Magazine. If you thought the 21st century was weird enough already, think again. Twisted Pulp Magazine. A step beyond your grandfather's pulp. Available at digitalvaudeville.com. That's D I G I T A L V A U D E V I L L E.com. Mm-hmm.